There are no best practices in China. There are three key elements that one needs to consider when entering the Chinese market and being successful here. And if these three key elements can actually be accomplished, one can actually endeavor to be successful in the Chinese market, although it might take time. The first is protection. Uh, registering your IP, registering your trademark in China is a simple process that really needs to be done at the initial step. We've had too many clients who haven't taken into this consideration. They've put it at the bottom of their checklist and in consequence it has forced them to exit the Chinese market because it's too expensive to buy out the trademark in the end. Trademarks need to be registered no matter what business you're doing. Uh, generally companies believe that if, that if they're selling their product into the Chinese market and they're establishing their Western brand, then they should register their mark. It's not only this group of companies that should be doing it. If you are sourcing in China and you're exporting your product, be careful. Suppliers can be vengeful, they can register your trademark and act as a type of IP squatter. And in this case, uh, you're unable to export your product and your brand in terms of your packaging. Service companies, a lot of service companies out there also believe that because they're providing a service, they don't in theory have a brand because the service itself is a brand. That's a complete wrongful uh, idea to have. Even if you are a service company, you need to register your brand here locally and make sure that uh, you can practice your services underneath that brand. The next point or a key element is looking at people. Uh, Everybody says that the Chinese are not loyal, they're not trustworthy, for 200 renminbi more they'll leave you, which I believe in the past and historically this was the case. But the newer generation, the younger generation, they're looking to work for Western companies in order to learn. They want to gain skills, specialities, they even want to travel abroad for the company. This is for them advantages that outweigh the salary levels. Uh, so to, in today's age, I wouldn't really say that uh, people are looking uh, to earn 200 renminbi more. What they're looking for is value, trust, and respect. As a Western manager coming into the Chinese market, sit with your staff, be with them, understand them, develop a relationship with them so that they do want to stay with you, learn from you, be promoted within the organization, and develop. The last point is location. And in the Western world, there's a saying that location, location, location is the key to success, particularly if you're in the retail sector. We had a situation a few years back where an Italian gelato company wanted to enter the Shanghai news market. Uh, they found a very good deal inside a shopping mall, which was on the third floor of the shopping mall, and had no flow of consumers that within two months they had to close down their business. If they had actually spent just a little bit more money and had been on the ground floor, where people enter and exit the shopping mall, they would have had a much better success in this market. If you're in the trading sector or manufacturing sector and you want to be inside in an industrial zone, you also have to come physically to China in order to see these zones and understand what they entail, how do they look, how do they feel, do you want your company and your brand and your image to be located in that area. The Shanghai Free Trade Zone is a new pilot area which opened about 18 months ago. Many, many foreign investors are looking at this zone because it's in the media, it's in the news, and, and everybody is talking about it. In fact, this zone is primarily targeted for Chinese companies that are looking to invest abroad because it has the function of renminbi convertibility. Uh, out of the 10,000 companies that are located right now there, only 6% are actually foreign invested companies. So, in my opinion, if you are a foreign investor, it doesn't necessarily mean you have to be located in that zone. So the three key elements, people, protection, and location, uh, really there are best practices that can be achieved. Uh, you just need to have a, a little bit of common sense coming into the Chinese market and uh, you will be successful.